You and me both, Frank. You and me both. Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Photo Dave. This is Toy Picks. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get a hazy, foggy look in your action figure photos by just using cotton and your camera. That's right. No Photoshop in today's tutorial. But first, before I go any further, remember that everything I show you in this video will have product links in the video description below. Those are affiliate links, so if you see something in this video you want, you click on one of those, you get it. Helps out the channel. I appreciate it. And I also have the 10% off link for Entertainment Earth on all in-stock items, plus you get free shipping if you spend $39 or more. Now that link is also in the video description below, but it also looks like you can just use the promo code TOYPIX at checkout to get that. Now, without any further ado, let's get to this. This past weekend, I shot and posted this picture. Now, I was very proud of this when I shot it because it was all in camera, except of course for the lightsaber effects. I'm not quite sure how to do that in camera. But then I started looking at it, and I wasn't so geeked about the lower left-hand side, like with that green there, it just looked too perfect. There was no background. You know, as any of you creative people know that are watching this, you know that sometimes you look at things and you're like, oh man, had I done this, had I done that, all that good stuff. So today I realized something. I can just redo this, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just totally reset this photo, do the things that I should have done in the first one to make it even better as we're working through. So you'll see the setup for it, and I want you to know that those of you who've been watching these videos for a while, you know I spent a lot of time at Mom's Place a while back, and she would look at these photos, and whenever I'd use just cotton inside in the photos, she would look at it and say, that just looks like cotton. Mom, very blunt, which I appreciate, but after a while I thought, she's right, it does just look like cotton. What can I do to fix that? Well, ladies and gents, I'm showing you in this vid. Because this view is always insanely popular. Look at that. Even a couple TV trays in between the shot. I'm fancy. So I wanted to show you what I'm actually using. They're called pom-poms. This is why I recommend cotton. They start out like that, but they're a lot sturdier than cotton is. Like just tough to really maneuver, but I'm tearing them apart and I'm getting that. You wanna really make these things incredibly fine when you're working on them to get that haze effect that I'm talking about. Anyway, quick break, just to show you that. Rip up that cotton. Get it fine. All right, don't judge me too harshly. First off, here's a sign my sister got me because she thinks she's got me beat. But here we go. This is kind of a little bit of that cotton, those pom-poms I tore up a bit. And very close to the lens. By the way, the lens itself is a 75 millimeter to 300 millimeter. It's a telephoto. And go ahead and judge me on the background. I still haven't gone through all the crap on my floor that I need to pitch. But there you go. A lot of ripped up cotton there or pom-poms. Hopefully you've got cotton because pom-poms are much tougher to work with. And we've got a little bit more here just because I want more of a layered effect. Now here's the actual photo setup right now. We've got Luke there. We've got the key light here hitting Luke. That's where the bright light source is coming from. We have the green light basically acting as the lightsaber light and the fill light. And then we have the backlight way up here. Again, all those lights will be in the video description below if you dig them. They are knee lights. They're kind of cool. We've got poster board here because I was considering putting down the sand. But when I cropped the thing, I realized... It doesn't need sand, which is good, because that sucks to pick up. And we've got this background dial wall from Bearded Wolfie. So, yeah, there you go, folks. That's a pretty basic setup, but I wanted to do it this way because I decided 
that Luke shouldn't have the cloak. I really like the details they do on this figure, or they put into this figure. I just think it looks great, so that's why Luke's like that. Tried to find some natural ways to lay some stormtroopers on the ground. All that. So, now we're going to shoot it and see what we've got. And, ladies and gentlemen, here's what I did straight out of the camera. Now, I'm not going to lie, it took me about four shots to get this right. But, there you go. So, you'll notice kind of in the bottom left a little bit, just a little to the right of the very farthest left, you have where the haze is just a little tiny bit thicker. That's from having it set up with those two TV trays so that I had those little pieces of pom-pom sticking up in two spots. One of the problems that I was having when I would do just big clumps of cotton balls or pom-poms to try and make them look right is they really did kind of just look like cotton balls or pom-poms. And so you could never get this haze look. So that's why I decided, okay, I don't want just a big group. I want to spread it out so that it's thicker in certain areas and not quite as thick in other areas. You'll also notice that it's a little thicker in the bottom right, too, because of that second layer. So that's what we've got as far as the shot. That's what happened. Now, Luke was roughly five feet away from the lens to get this shot to make sure to have the haze or the cotton right up nearby the lens was right there. And then the other cotton, the other pom-poms, I guess to be more accurate, were about a little, probably about 40% of the way to Luke. So I didn't take any measurements. I'm just kind of eyeballing where everything's at right now, just so you can kind of get an idea of how far everything was, what the settings were. Uh, the f-stop was 6.3. I can't remember what the exposure was, which makes me awful, awful people, but it was pretty low. It wasn't, I mean, it was, it was a fast exposure. I didn't have, I didn't want it to be too bright or anything like that. And I did the color setting. I wanted it to be a nighttime shot. So I did the color setting by changing, um, the color temperature inside the camera. So that's what you're seeing here. And now, check it out. Now we've just got the lightsaber. Now, lightsabers, by the way, are pretty easy to do in Photoshop. So if anybody ever wants a lightsaber tutorial, just let me know. But that's all I did to the picture was I did a little bit of cropping. I'll probably do a little more cropping. And I also Photoshopped in the lightsaber because, again, I'm not exactly sure how to do that. So as far as the photo goes and as far as the how-to goes... That's everything I've got for you. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you add a hazy slash foggy look to your action figure photos by just using the camera and a few pieces of cotton. Pretty exciting stuff, and it's something that I really wanted to do. So, comment below and let me know, are these types of videos helping you out? And even more so, go over to Twitter after checking out this tutorial and trying it yourself, and post the pictures anywhere on it. I mean, ideally, it would be the link to this video, but if you can't find that, just post it somewhere so I can check it out, so we can all see how great you did following the whole thing and making your own fog and haze. That would make me happy. And if you feel so inclined, go ahead and click subscribe. And with that, thanks as always for watching. And until next time, have fun and happy snapping. See ya.